I am Dakar. Welcome, Dakar. Thank you. I see that we're at a webinar. Very, very well. I understand that you want an update on the colonies and the meetings that have gone on between the Earth and the and the alien alliances. That is very well. I can tell you much about that. If there are any questions after I am finished, you may ask them then. But I will tell you that site-to-site -site holographic communication has been approved. However, there are rules and regulations that must be also approved. We will get the first draft of these from your governments on Monday or Tuesday. We will look at them and either agree or disagree on the ways to do things. Hopefully there is not too much bureaucratic red tape and or because we do not feel that that is necessary for this kind of travel because you will not be coming actually site to site but just holographically which is different than an actual site to site uh, event but we are hoping also that you are able to remember a lot more from the holographic event than you did from the uh, spiritual event, the bringing you astrally. So at this point, we are very excited that there are going to be some changes in the way that you are presented in the fourth dimension. You see, you will come from fourth dimension, a third dimension to third dimension, and then move to fourth dimension holographically, which will be a very exciting experience for you. And we're hoping that much memory will be retained in this method. There are other things discussed, such as um, different ways for us to communicate with Earth and different things that we would like to establish with your governments and have permission to do that are um, healthy for the Earth. And they have agreed to let us remove some chemtrails from your atmosphere, um, but only a certain percent because they do not want it to be noticed by the human uh, population that is not aware of aliens. And so they must be done at particular times of day when people are not aware that these things are happening or they're not visible, perhaps. So we are going to be working with more chemtrail removal, which is a very th good thing for your planet because of the different uh, toxins that they bring to the atmosphere. And this is hurting mostly trees and because it gets to a point where the trees cannot evolve quickly enough to um, live with these toxins. So, but it is something that we will do. Humanity is actually changing and evolving quicker, more fast, or what is the word? Rapidly. Rapidly. So that you could actually grow with that. There are diseases that go with toxins that come into your atmosphere. However, your physicians or scientists are working on cures for them already. So it is an interesting development on your planet. The other things that were discussed were scientific advancements in medicine and in technology, which they are already working on. They have backward engineered many things, but there are certain things about the engineers, engineering that they have done that is not effective because they do not have the right materials working with them. Also, there is some biological material, material being used in some of this technology that when it was disabled, that technology dies. That part of it will not exist any longer. The bio biological portion will die out and they cannot replace it 
properly because they cannot see how it is connected or integrated as we as it were so therefore we are actually going to help them with that a little bit if the situations and times are correct for it to happen there is also some medical advancements that we would like to work with them however their pharmaceutical areas do not want these advancements because they're making too much money on the cures or the the medications for some of these things you've already discovered a cure for cancer you've already discovered cures for other things that are very expensive the cure for AIDS has already been found the cure for other things has been found as well but your governments do not want or actually the pharmaceutical areas of your uh, earth parts I do not know how to express it but they do not want these cures to come because that will mean a decline in their finances however we do have great other cures and we are trying to let them know that these will be beneficial to the earth and that we will find other ways for them to make money however right now they are battling with us on that that particular um, thought process therefore that is still going to be an ongoing discussion we are in the midst of many different uh, question and answer periods and trying to get closer to first contact we are also trying to find ways to communicate to your planet that will be most beneficial to people in uh, in the earth to recognize that aliens are friendly we call ourselves aliens because we are not offended by it extraterrestrials actually means that we're not from earth or we are extra from earth and that is not actually very exact so we actually prefer aliens over extraterrestrials off-worlders is a good term it, it doesn't really matter to us what you call us we are realizing that you are just using terms to bring us into re realization if you use any term to bring us into realization we are grateful so therefore we are not offended by any term that you would use to speak about us but we are also trying to give the world a greater understanding of who we are in this realm and that we are not battling or going to take over your planet but wish to welcome you into the galaxy welcome you into the understanding that we have our arms open for whenever you are ready for us so that is one way we would like to depict ourselves is that we are not coming to take over but we are coming to welcome you into the galaxy and if you welcome us to earth we will come there too if that is what you so choose if you prefer that we stay off world but still acknowledge us we will take that into consideration and be very happy with it any form of communication that can be improved with your planet is welcome and so therefore that is one thing that we are working with your governments and they seem to be softening in some ways toward this communication we are they of course have understood that we have not attacked we have not taken over and we have listened carefully to everything that they have said for several years now so I think they are starting to soften about the way that we are working with them and perhaps within the next few years before 2020 first contact will be something of a, a positive thing a reality for us all so we are just praying and hoping that these communications continue to go further and further and we are very happy with the outcome of this last conference it's been the most successful of all I believe one of the points that was successful about is it is was that they realized that their planet your planet is under much stress for the economy 
in many, many places around your planet, there are many, many places financially in problems. And therefore, they are willing to hear our advice on these things. Although we do not want to change their future because they have free will to do that on their own, we do give suggestions, but they have still have to make the decisions on their own. Do you understand that? We are not telling them what to do. They are, we are only making suggestions, and we make several so that they can choose between them. Now, the, there is a right and a wrong decision. We will not give them any really wrong decisions, but some decisions will be slower activations than other systems. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So do not be worried about all the negativity that is happening on the Earth. The Cabal and the Shimera and Anunnaki and the others that are the Illuminati, all these things that have bad references or bad what can be considered uh, negative. We do not like the word bad. And we do not even like the word negative. But they do come across as these things, and that's the way you understand them. So that's the way we have to communicate it. So therefore, we, we understand where they stand. And you see, we've given your countries and your governments ways to overcome these things, but they must choose correctly. And they must choose together, because only one country choosing the right decision will not be beneficial. It has to be an, a, a greater percent than 50% to make it worthwhile. So therefore, they have asked for some of our opinions, and therefore we have given them. But we were careful to give them several, because free will is necessary. Now, there are other things discussed, but I do not want to go into them right now, because they are not... They have not been <laughs> distinguished as being a part of uh, awareness for the whole earth, but only awareness for those of uh, a higher government officials, such as weaponry, war, and things of this nature. And so we will not discuss that today. However, if there are questions, please do not ask about uh, war or the weapons of war or anything of that nature because we are not at liberty to discuss them at this time. But if you do have questions, please ask them now. Wuha, Tsuka. Greetings. This is Rowie. Rowie, welcome. How are you? I'm wonderful. That's fantastic. I want to um, just backtrack a little bit to what's referred to the alien agenda yes as you mentioned earlier um, there is um, obviously uh, the yin and yang the balance there is people like us who are very much on a positive note of the alien agenda and we trust that we want to be part of the, the galaxy the universe we want to spread our wings and fly and explore again like we used to hundreds of years ago yes. but there's also a a lot of people that feel there's a negative and have been fed information, there's a negative alien agenda. Do you have any message for anybody out there who might be listening that you could let them know what the agenda is? There are negative alien like agendas. Yeah. Thank you for that question because there are negative alien agendas, but they are not ours. <laughs> there agendas of other species and I will not mention them because that will give them because not all of their species are negative and we have made the mistake of saying what species they are and then people will take a negative approach toward that particular species and it is not all the com completely all of that species that are negative but factions of it that is understood I hope but there yes. are those that wish to work with the governments of your planet in a negative way. Yes, there is an alien agenda. And also many think that our agenda has a negative side as well. It is not that our, our agenda is negative. There is personal gain for us. 
working with humanity does have a separate agenda for us than it does for you. And that is something that is always there. Whenever working with two different species, there is always another agenda because we will all, it is not that you will just benefit, but we will also benefit from it, and not in a negative way. Not that we are taking uh -huh. advantage of you, but we want to be in agreement about how we work with you. However, we have not revealed all of our agenda. So some have said that, yes, we can, yes, we are working for humanity, but no, we can't be trusted. But that is not quite true. We can be trusted to help humanity and bring truth to humanity. But the this other side of our agenda will be revealed at first contact. So that therefore, it just we are just making it easier for you to accept us. And we are not trying to do anything negative. Does that help you at all? Yes, it yes, does. I understand the, the balance of so. Uh, we, uh, have we have feedback. feedback. Um, um, I understand the balance of energy as well and how that interacts and why there has to be, you know, there's something we're getting from it, there's something you're getting from it. So yes. I understand that exchange completely. Win. And Sorry? Win-win. Win-win. Yeah, a win-win situation. Yes. But I guess there's a lot of people, like you mentioned before, with the pharmaceutical companies and other very, very high profitable companies that don't, do what they're supposed to do, they just sort of mimic what they're supposed to do and they're well, the ones that are being threatened by this. So, I'm sure yeah. that you're aware that those who have discovered the cure for cancer were eliminated from your planet. Some of those that discovered cures for things that cause, cost much money to purchase in humanity were eliminated because they did not want this cure to be exposed. And these people were to were bringing their information to the governments and were eliminated before they got there because they have spies everywhere to know what things have been discovered and what things have not been discovered and so therefore these cures are in the hands of the pharmaceutical companies they are not on the up and up in many ways and I will say that to you and they know that many people know that already. Okay, thank you, Takura. That that was my question. Now I think Sabrina wanted to follow up on that as well. Yes. Um, hello, Takura. Hello. Um. <laughs> um, my question was on on the site to site. Um, I was wondering if you could be a little more specific on on that. How is it going to work? Um, what are the rules? Um, what what is needed from us and from you? Well, that is to be seen what the rules are. But I can tell you what holographic site to site will be like in some ways. Instead of going in an astral form, your astral form will actually take on a holographic. Um, appearance, which means that it will be in a greater density in, in a lighter form. The light, you see, the astral is a pure physical form. The holographic is a light form. Does that make sense to you, first of all? Yes. Okay, then you, your astral will take on a light form. We know how to do that. We know how to do that. So on on that approach, we will bring you holographically, which means that it will be slightly more dense. Light is denser than spirit. Do you understand that? So therefore, you will be able to bring more information back, we are hoping, because you light also goes and it is put into matter. So it goes from spirit to light to matter. You see, the next step would be a site to site in a material form. But right now, we have learned how to put the astral into light form. Now, as far as the rules and regulations are concerned, they are, they are in charge of drawing up the rules and regulations 
for this particular kind of uh, transport. And they will give them to us Monday or Tuesday of this coming week. The first draft will be coming. Um, however, I think that there may be delays on it because the last thing that we heard where they were there were some uh, different opinions about how it should be done. Most would like it to be done during sleeping hours. Others would like it to be controlled, which we do not want that because they can they do have an ability to control the vision of of this kind of light energy so it is important that we get the correct rules and regulations for this so we have not we have not volunteer uh, 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 we have not even seen what they are trying to propose in that way yet Okay, so I guess until that's ironed out, we have no idea when that could happen. It should take, I'm very positive in my outlook, and I am thinking that it should happen very quickly because this is not sight to sight. And so therefore, people will remember more, but it is still not a violation of the rules and regulations that they originally laid down. So I'm thinking that this could be a very exciting period of time for everyone. Is it like a loophole? It is. It, but like we have yet to see if this kind of sight to sight brings more memory back to the human, human uh, existence. But we are feeling that since it is a denser uh, reality, that it should. Do you understand that? It is very much more dense uh, than the spiritual. And then the matter transfer is even more dense than that. So um, we are hoping for great results here. Okay. Um, now. Any questions in the room here? Can we move into the room for one moment? Okay. This is Mark the Older. <laughs> um, my question is, how would it be best for us as individuals to prepare for the holographic uh, visitations? Ah, excellent question. You will not have to prepare much because when you get to the colonies, you will be given an interview and let they will let you know that they were that. Um, <coughs> what all to expect during this. However, we will let you know when they have chosen that you are going to go. And this will be part of the explanation, of course, because if you they choose for you to go during the day, it will be different than if they choose for you to go during the night. And I will explain that if, if it's necessary. So, but, they will give you an interview. They do that anyway. When you go astrally, they sit you down and tell you what to expect, what you're going to see, what you're going to experience in the fourth dimension, that you are you're coming there from third dimension to third dimension, but they will move you into a fourth dimensional situation. And this will be even a greater sensation because astral will give you a... A, a lighter sensation than the light being the holographic will give you a greater sensation of what fourth dimension is like. So therefore, the interview will be slightly different and bring in much more information about that than once prior. So this will let you know how much information that you will need. Can I add to that because... <clears throat> Can I add to that, please? Yes. I'm going to sit on your lap. <laughs> um, I don't know if he meant to also ask. I would imagine many from the human colony would like to be part of this and how to make sure that we are also included and at least that we would like to go and who goes and for what reason. Thank you. Whenever. Very good question. Thank you. She was saying that... She, 
those that want to come holographically will she wants to know how they're going to know if they want to go holographically if they're, or if they're going to go just astrally still because some will not want to go holographically still. And so, understandable. When we come to you, this is also part of the rules and regulations that are being ironed out. But my thought process is that when we do come to you, you will tell us which way you your subconscious will let us know if you want to just go astrally or if you want to go holographically and you will know we will know by your reaction what you want to do now if you would like to state it beforehand if you would like to tell us out loud or write it on the site or whatever you want to do to make sure that you are understood, you may do that as well. We will make sure that that happens. Thank you so much, Dicker. You are welcome. Um, yes, that you keep your hands down. Oh. Continue. You need to come over here. Because they have a question. I have a question. They won't hear you unless you come over. His mic is on the screen. Oh, if you want to be on camera, you can sit here. I do not. Where should I go? Behind, I behind here. No, okay. So this is not part I can't, of no. We will okay. lean forward so that you can speak into the microphone. So my understanding is that although there are those who have a fraction of it that are um, not to our benefit. We need to have faith and trust that you desire to work cooperatively with us. Is that a correct? Yes, we are working cooperatively with you, correct. And that we need to have faith that that's... Yes, that, that, that we are happen. telling you the truth and that we are on the up and up. So I was having, I w was wondering about, are you familiar with the Baha'is at all? The what? The Baha'is. We have heard of them, but we are not in full contact with them. Why? I was just wondering what type of an influence the, the, the Baha'is are having on the benefit of the planet and that sort of thing. We are trying not to judge anyone at this point. And, the, and so, therefore, we are letting other, those others work the way they work. Now, in our situation, we are doing our best to just keep everything under control because we do work with uh, seismic, we work with volcanic, we work with the weather. So we are we are really not involving ourselves with any of their situations. Do you understand that? Yes. So where do you come from? We come from we are uh, five different, actually now six different species that have come together in an alliance. You sound very far away. We can't hear you, Takur. Try again. Is this better? Yes. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Please carry on. What was the last thing you heard from me? You mentioned the, that there were five different species um, that were part of Gert Fritnir. Uh-oh. Something happened. That was the last thing we heard. Actually, there are six. However, I was. she asked a question about... I forget what the question was. It's been so long. But I was uh, going to explain why the num... why our planet... Ah, it was about time. And... Our planets have different time areas than your planets. You work on a 24-hour system. We work on a system that's much different to take care of different aspects of time. However, time doesn't really exist unless you create it. Do you understand that? You create time to organize your worlds. And that is how it is work. So every one's time, every species, has a different interpretation of what time is because they organize it differently. Does that make sense to you? Yes. 
And how do you organize <coughs> How we organize time is in sectors as well to help us to get things done. However, we want to tell you that our astrology and numerology are totally different from yours because you see your num number system is different than our number system and if you want to go universally then you would have to eliminate time from the time from the equation and use distance and movement and therefore distance and movement are how we base our horoscopes and our numerology there is no time involved in it because time is different in all parts of the universe there is no universal time element so therefore it cannot be a universal uh, horoscope cannot be made if you base it on time does that make sense to you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. therefore when a child is being born when the crowning starts or when the the hatching starts or whatever thing that starts with that birth that is the time that the sky is observed and a video or a movie or whatever you want to call it of the sky is observed because that is the beginning of their horoscope and when they re leave the the mother completely that is the end of the horoscope or whenever the ch the egg is completely hatched and they are totally out of the egg then that is when that their horoscope is finished so that portion of the sky that is seen in that area directly above them as their planet moves I forgot to mention that their planet is moving you understand and so as they're being born they're coming out of the er, the birth canal or coming into the world in a different way that portion of the sky is being watched as the planet moves and when they are totally out of the birth canal or totally into another reality other than the being born that is their horoscope so whatever portion of the sky is being observed directly above them during that period of time is what their horoscope becomes and everyone's is distinctly different to Kerr um, uh, Ruth had had a follow-up question to the side to side so I'm gonna you know allow her to do that now wonderful Sorry, Safira. Ikara. Continue. She said that she uh, got the question answered um, by listening to what you had said. She already got a question answered. So thank you so much. Very well. Okay. Thank you. Here. All righty then. What does that mean? Oh, oh yeah. Continue. Here. Here. Hello, she how are you? Is there more than one speaking? No, it's just me. How are you, Tikur? I'm well, thank you. Hmm. I have a couple of questions. First of all, I know that the astral um, projections can be dismissed, so you can go, uh, come back to Earth and not remember everything because they sabotaged the memory. Is it the same thing with the holographic? The, hol the holographic will be more dense and less likely to be tampered with because of, of wavelengths. The spiritual wavelength is very thin. So therefore, the light wavelengths get through just fine. Do you understand that? Yes. Uh, you see light in a greater way. You do not see the spiritual. So with the holographic, you would be able to see it on an earthly level as well. So that is why we believe that it will be more effective. I see. And uh, first of all, I'm going to have a personal session with Jim on Tuesday. Could you come? I would like to speak with him, if it's okay. I, I, I did not hear all of that. Ah. You're going to have a personal session with Jim and ask what? 
and ask to speak with you if you are uh, available at the time. That would be next Tuesday at 1300 this time. Yes. I understand, yes. Great. And last question, um, how Israel uh, react to the government and everything that's going on? Because there are many things happening right now in Israel. It's a tough time here. Yes. Israel has been accepting yeah. uh, us more lately because they have, it is not something that they are fighting against. They are not even on the fence, but more of a yes than a no. So we have, uh, because of Elohim and other parties that have been involved in some of the discussions with the nations, there has been a turnaround in the Israel um, thought process, especially mm -hmm. in the government area. And they are willing to, to accept us. And therefore, uh, they are not one of the ones we are concerned about at this time. Okay, that's wonderful. And uh, if there's a way that I can help you with the Israelis, if they would like to meet me, I, the offer always stands. And if there's anything I can do to the Griffith Neary, also, always stand. Thank you I very understand. much. I understand. Very well. Hello, Lena. Continue. And thank you, Sheer, for your offer. We no can't problem. Hear you. Who is next? All right. All right. There's somebody else trying to speak right now. We're going to skip you for now and go to the next person and see if you can fix the uh, audio problem. Okay. Uh, Krella? Yes, hello to Kerr. Hello. How are you? Fine. I'm sorry that I have not gotten back to you, but I needed to do some other things, and our time together will be longer. Okay, uh, excited for that. I have uh, two questions. My first one is, do I have any connections to the uh, Lupine wolf yes. race? Yes, you do. I cannot tell you at this time what it is, but they told me immediately that it was a yes. I am not very familiar with the Lukeen race, but I will be familiar, uh, familiarize myself in the future with them. There are so many species that are out there right now. We have made contact with many of them, but do not know them well. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Um. My second one is, are you, um, is there one, a lupine, that goes by the name of a Kala? One moment, please. We are aware of the lupine race. It is of a wolf nature. They are like wolves. They, are, they look and appear in some ways. They're much larger, of course. Uh, yes, that is a name that is coming through. Are you aware of this person? Have they channeled through you? Um, no, I'm only aware that I've had a past life connection with this person. Ah, uh, yes. This is true. They're saying this is true. Yes. Okay, uh, thank you. You are welcome. Rowie? Uh, hi, Tukar. Um, I've got a couple of questions from some of our other members um, who are not present with us right now. Um, yes. The first question comes from Danny, um, the amazing, uh, wonderful soul who does all our transcripting. He sends his unconditional love to you and thanks you for all the help. And he asks if you may be able to help heal his left elbow problem. It's called tennis elbow. Yes. He says he's got some problems. Um, the first and second infusion did not work. Is it still the same? I will talk to Japan about that. One okay. moment. Okay. Kuraka. 
nji shoko watia nye nye kwa au hayo sisetaba mie akua you are here he will find something else that might help better beautiful and there's a second question from him as well he he's requesting additional shikani infusion to the maximum of 10 percent he says that the first part of the infusion really gave him a huge step forward in his life and he just wanted to say thanks to you and the shikani buddies very well it will be we will see if it is improved i cannot approve it on the spot but I can see Yakaro Ua Shanti Dani Asafshurti Bakhata Nahiya. They will check into that. I do not see any problem with that since he has taken all infusions very well. But we okay. will get back to him on that. Perfect. I'm sure that's um, hopefully answered his questions. Um, there was another sort of health question actually. It was coming from Inna who. Um, very gracefully dropped to allow Jim back in and you back into the webinar. So I'd like to ask her a question as well. Um, she she wants to ask: do, Does some of her mental and emotional, especially physical, gut problems come from her past lives? Yes. And how can she heal it if she doesn't I, know what the cause is? I will send her a message via. Jim's email because there is an answer. Have her send me the the question via Jim's email and we will answer it for her. Yeah, she believes she was killed in her last life with a sword into the guts. Yes. She believes she needs to heal that, so I'll get well she's heard that now, so she will send you the message and um she'd be in Yes, contact. there is other things that are happening in that area as well. Okay, I hope that helps so greatly, and you know, we hope you get better and on on the on the way upwards. Yes, we will help her. Yes. Thank you, Takara. Yes. Sabrina. Carolina. You are. Continue. You need to unmute yourself. No, we. Are you talking? We still can't hear you. No, we can't hear you. You gotta fix the audio. We can see you moving. Yeah. We just can't hear you, unfortunately. <laughs> so we know you're there. Yeah, I know. I, we know you're there. No, we can't hear you. So we'll, we'll move on, okay? You may have to click the gear icon at the top of the screen and change your default microphone. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Safira? Hello, Takur. This is Hello, Safira. Hello, Safira. How are you? I'm good. First, I would like to thank you for your dedication to us the last two years. Thank you very much. And all of Group Fikmir. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have a question. I have a friend and she has given me permission to, to ask you. Um, she is losing weight without knowing why. It's just getting skinnier and skinnier and she had cancer when she was young and I would like to ask for her. She's not part of Human Colony um, if she does have cancer or not. I know it's, I'm not asking you to take responsibility as a doctor, just asking from your, from your view. <laughs> What is her name? Well, I will connect to her through your thought processes. So her therefore, name. her name will not be necessary. Just think of her image at this time because we are all connected through, through our souls and our light fields. So if you connect to her energy right now, I will be able to tell you. Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you. I can see that there is something there is something wrong. Yes, I do not want to name it at this time, but I it is a form of cancer. Yes. Okay. Um. There is something in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. okay. There is something in the bloodstream. She needs to seek a medical attention. We cannot deal with that from this distance. We cannot. Okay. 
Well, is it something like very extreme or is it something Yes, it is life threatening. I see. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but if she would get attention immediately, could it be reversed or through Yes. She can help herself quite a bit with immediate attention. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tiffa. You're welcome. <laughs> Who is next? Or do you wish me to leave? Um, Carolina was was the the last one. I believe she had sound before. Can you yes. speak now? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, can you hear me now? You can hear. Yes, we can hear you now. Oh, hello, Tika. Hello, Carolina. How are you? I, I, I feel so much love for you, and thank, thank you for helping our planet. You're welcome. Um. I have um you you told me before I had two girls. Yes. Um my first question is um well I would like to know more about them and I would like to know when my DNA was taken so they could be conceived. It was taken when you gave permission the first time when you were when they had visited you even before that you were aware that you wanted to have children and that you were there was a connection to the sky as you were aware you were attracted to Pleiadians quite yes. a bit and therefore you, this has happened and there was a Lyran connection as well so um, you gave permission for your DNA to be taken two years ago right I think I remember that Yes, it was about two, almost exactly two years ago. Okay, okay. My, uh, the second thing, um, I noticed that I remember many things from Colony One. Yes. Um, does that mean I have a, a potential for telepathy? You have, actually what it says is that you were not bombarded with a lot of waves on the way back down and that you're memory retention was much better we are very happy for you this is a very good thing we are glad to see that some people remember their visits uh, more than others but now with the holographic forms that are going to be taken there will be much more retention we're thinking about at least 30 percent more thank you uh, we'll, we will be ready on the 28th like you said yes you are coming to the colonies on the 28th Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, You're uh, welcome. Just one more thing. Uh, will, I, will, will, will you be able to help me improve my telepathy? Of course. Thank you. Colony One is all about telepathy and languages. They go oh, hand right. in hand, actually. So they are, they are both on Colony One. Colony Four is about channeling, which is something slightly different. So it had to be separated out from the telepathy and the ch the languages. But those, the languages and telepathy are hand in hand, work together very well. Okay, thank you so much, Dakar. I can't wait to see you again, and I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Dakar. Uh, Caitlin had a question. She wanted. She said that. Apparently, you have a message for her? If I do have a message for her, it would be private, and I would not want to announce it over the Internet. So, therefore, I have her send me a email, an email, through Jim's site. Okay. And perhaps I will get a hold of her on Skype. Okay. Um, and the other question was from Adriana. Ah, Adriana, how are you? Um, she wanted to ask um, about, she recently got a download about okay. crystals. Yes. You have an idea, okay. Um, she wants to know how to activate the information. It will be activated when necessary. Right now, um, 
she she has realized that she got an app uh, download, but it's not necessary for it to be open quite yet. But I know she is impatient. Hang on, it will be opened. All right. Um, that was it for today, Takur. Yes. Um, I would like to thank you for coming and answering all our questions, giving us the update. Um, and to who would you like to speak to next? Um, I Umak. believe there was an Andromedan there waiting. Also, I don't know. Um, yes, the Andromedan is here. Love to you, Takur. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank this you, particular Andromedan is a spirit guide to someone else. Are they wishing to speak right now, or is yes? They want to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And thank you for two years of your company, Takur. It's been beautiful. Thank yes, you. Yes, Takur. Thank, thank you. you. Much, Much love. love. Namaste. Namaste, Takur.